Today's Toy Spot, why we're having a look at the NECA Gremlins Series 3 Haskins. Pretty sure, if memory serves me, Haskins was was he not the one that was taken to the school, and he had that science teacher experiment, and t he drew his blood, and hilarity ensued. Hilarity did not ensue, by the way. Pretty sure. That's, um, very strange choice for a, a Mogwai in this series. I'll probably get into that when we get the package opened up. But down below we have a picture of Haskins, a much furrier Mogwai. Packaging is, by the way, the exact same as the other Mogwais, too. Um, on the back of the package, you can collect them all. There's Of this wave, there's Gizmo, Stripe, and Haskins, or Haskins, I think it's Haskins, Daffy, George, and Mohawk. All of them have a 360-degree trackball to move the Mogwai eyes. And also, again, all of them come to us from the good folks at NECA. Um, underneath, I don't think I generally show this, but Sculpt is, was done by Jason Fraley, Paint, John Warden, Jeffrey Trapp, Prototypes, Adam Smith, Packaging, Chris Longo, Photography, Stephen Mazarek. Oh, and also Product Developer, Randy Falk. So, good job as a whole, guys. Fantastic work on your Gremlins toys. Again, Spot's a huge fan of the Mogwais. What I am going to certainly do is take a bit of a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Haskins. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Here we have Haskins. Now, I'm going to say this, and, and the problem I find here, you know, here's the problem I have with Series 3 of the Mogwais. And it could really rely on the fact that with the first Gremlins, there really wasn't a lot of different characteristics between the Mogwais. More importantly, there really wasn't a lot of differences between them when they turned into gremlins either, aside from, let's say, Mohawk. Mohawk was the one that, you know, looked a little bit different. Now, or Stripe, I should say Stripe, Mohawk, second one. In the second one, the Mogwais looked a little bit differently, so getting different Mogwais for the, you know, for that wave made sense because they all looked different enough. Mohawk, I keep calling Mohawk, but Stripe has the additional mohawk hair. Haskins, on the other hand, really is just, he's just a plumper uh, gizmo. I mean, essentially, I mean, if we bring in sad gizmo, I mean, they use really the exact same paint on their lower bodies, their arms, their hands, everything else are exactly the same. The only thing that's different is their face. Sad gizmo, Haskins. Now, he's a nice figure, but I think my biggest problem with him is I just kind of ask myself, did we really need a Haskins Mogwai? Did we? I mean, if this was specifically a series or series three dedicated to the first Gremlins movie, perhaps there could have been something different that we could have got as Mogwais. Now, you could say, well, Spot, at least with the other Mogwais we've gotten, they've covered off all the different Mogwais we've gotten. Well, you know, whether with Mog Mogwai from Series 1, you would have had, or the first movie you would have had Gizmo, Haskins, you know, you would have had uh, Stripe, and, and, you know, that would have made sense. And then you have all your Mogwais from, from Gremlins 2. So they're covering all the bases, but at the end of the day, I just kind of have to ask myself, did we really need a Haskins? Now, yeah, I mean, his details are nice, but I just kind of feel like this could easily just be Sleepy Gizmo. Now, the only real thing is, I mean, he's got the trackball, but you really can't make out his eyes a little bit. You can move them around, but you're really not going to see very much as his eyelids are partially closed. I mean, he's, he's a nice Mogwai, 
But really, again, like, did we need him? It just so happened that when Spot had bought the, I bought the set. Haskins was really the least one, the least interesting of the three, just because I feel like we've kind of already been there. We've been there. We've done that. We've already gotten, you know, several gizmos that I just kind of feel like someone like Haskins here is almost not necessary. Ultimately, if somebody comes over to my place, they may look over at them and say, hmm, that's an awfully fat gizmo, to which I would have to say, no, 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 that's not gizmo, that's Haskins. Who? I know. Sure, I mean, you know, gizmo has the white patch over his eye, Haskins does not. I don't know. I mean, as a display piece, if you had all of them in a box, you could kind of have like a nice little Gremlins one diorama of all the Gremlins, but all the Mogwais, but really, I I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of torn. I like the fact that they're covering all the bases, but again, as a figure that I could re recommend, I don't know if I would recommend Haskins in the fa fact that we are really already covering this territory. Don't really know if we need a figure like this. Detail wise, he's really neat. Don't really feel like he's he's a necessary figure. Now, granted, despite that, I mean, his articulation is the same as all the other Mogwai, so his head is on a ball joint. His ears are on independent ball joints. His arms and sh his shoulders and forearms are all independently, uh, you can all independently rotate them, rotate the hands, and then you can also rotate the feet. All of them are pegged. I mean, Haskins, there's nothing loose on him. Paint's clean. You know, he, he sculpted well. He's got that nice roly-poly little face. He's, he's cute. But I don't know if I would say he's necessary in your Gremlins collection. Unless, unless you are a completionist and you want to get every single Mogwai that they release. Now, Spot's really being a, a hypocrite because up to this point, I pretty much have collected all of them except for the San Diego Comic-Con gizmo. Aside from that, I really have all the other Mogwais. I don't feel like I need necessarily this guy. But I mean, as a, as a collection filler, he's good because at least he was in Gremlins 1. So this is a very mixed bag review. I think he's done well based on the character, but as a toy, I don't know if he was necessarily something that you necessarily need, unless you are a diehard collector, I have to get every single Mogwai that they release. If that's the case, Haskins is a nice addition. But I really feel like Series 3 is just, you're getting a lot of the same looking Mogwai, just slightly varied. So, you guys can let me know your thoughts, as always, down below. You guys can let me know if this is something that you would pick up, or if you are just somebody that is picking up specific Mogwais, maybe someone like this you might pass on. Haskins, I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him a 7. He's done well, but I don't really think he's necessary for a collection. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the NECA Gremlins. This was the Mogwai Series 3, and we're looking at poor, neglected Haskins. That spot really didn't mean to rip apart, but ultimately did. There, there, Haskins. There, there. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.